Hello, everybody. God bless you all. I hope you're having a beautiful, blessed day on this beautiful day that God's given us, whether it's raining, snowing, windstorm, or whatever we're doing right now. It's still a beautiful, blessed day because all glory goes to God in good times and bad. Whatever day God's giving you today, remember it's a blessed day. Anyway, this is very important, folks, that I want to bring this video up. I just pulled up an article. This is in regards to the bird flu in China. Okay, now we know that a lot of the mainstream media is being censored by the U.S. government. I, I kind of have some proof right now. It's going to, you know, make you go, ah, oh, hmm, okay. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is that the article I'm referring to is go to foxnews.com, and I'm going to click on it right now as I'm talking on this video. Chinese scientists are slammed for, for creating a mutant influenza virus in the laboratory. Now, are you following me so far? Let me read this again. Chinese scientists slammed for creating a mutant influenza virus in laboratory. Ain't this kind of ironic, folks? Because why isn't Fox News talking about this article that the U.S. scientists did before the Chinese scientists? Listen to this one. Scientists, U.S. scientists mutate bird flu to make it more contagious, but critics claim the bioweapon bio -weapon must be kept secret. Just five weeks to h 5 N1 makes it more contagious. Five more tweaks at that point. This article is dated just November 2011. Do we all remember? This November 2011 came right came out right after the movie Contagion came out on 9/9/11. Then we find out in November, December, the U.S. paid scientists to make this version of this virus more contagious. It's a contagious version of the bird flu that they created. And it could also cause a pandemic. Now again, this is a contagion contagious version of bird flu that can cause a pandemic. Scientists divided over whether findings should be released. Do you remember hearing about all this in the news, that they were worried about releasing the findings of this virus in, in, the, uh, in, in the journals or whatever, uh, and they evidently released some of the findings or whatever? Well, again, the U.S. mutated this virus, folks, in two secret locations, in Wisconsin here in the U.S. and the Netherlands. Two secret, well, it's not secret no more, but at the time it was two secret locations. And ironically, in the movie Contagion, they also mentioned two secret locations where this virus was mutated. Again, now all of a sudden Fox News is focusing not on the U.S. mutating the bird flu to make it more contagious and cause a pandemic, which it says that it could cause a pandemic, but they are focusing all their energy on Chinese scientists being slammed for creating a mutant influenza virus in a laboratory. So I will tell you this, folks. I would not believe this article by Fox News. I think this is a complete and utter, complete and utter lie. Okay, now I'm not saying I can't speak for China and their scientists. There's evil all around the world. They could have mutated this bird flu too, but my theory is that the U.S. is shifting their focus away from them causing this possible pandemic that I think is going to probably turn into a pandemic very soon. Okay, now listen to this. Chinese scientists slam for creating a mutant influenza virus in laboratory. Why is Fox News suddenly bringing this article out, okay, right now, when the U.S. created the bird flu virus to make it more contagious among humans and cause a pandemic. Why are they bringing this article out about China and not talking about the U.S. doing this? Huh? Let's it's just put two and two together here. The most important article you need to hear, okay, is not necessarily listen to the Chinese scientists mutating it, but let's look at what the U.S. did. The U.S. government is culpable. The culpability of this crime causing a pandemic that could potentially kill millions lies on the U.S. government for hiring these scientists to mutate this bird flu. And ironically, the U.S. says the theory behind them doing that was to create vaccines to save millions. Come on, do you believe that? Do you believe they're going to save millions or kill millions? Okay, I believe the latter. Okay, Chinese scientists are also saying the same thing that they did it to create vaccines. So we could potentially have scientists in two big countries, China and the U.S., mutating and messing around with this bird flu, mutant bird flu virus. I'm going to tell you, no matter what you want to believe, this bird flu that's spreading in China right now, that's going to cause a pandemic worldwide, okay, it was man-made, and we all know that was man-made, and it was caused by evil people, scientists, Shadow government, whatever you want to call it, they're out to kill you. God bless all of you, Patty, all of you. Cassie, my friends, all live on the East Coast. And there's a strange flu virus going around on the East Coast that's sickening hundreds of people. This is what I'm being told by, by Patty and by my subscribers. There's lots of people being sickened. The last number I got was at least 100 um, neighbors, friends, families, up and down certain areas being sickened with the strange. Uh, it's causing kidney failures, all kinds of things. 
I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's SARS. I have a good friend that lives on the East Coast, too, Lisa, uh, sister-in-law, who said that um, uh, she's a nurse, and she was quoted as telling me that, uh, that uh, there's been 10 new SARS-related cases in, just in New York, and this was a couple weeks ago. So I don't know what's going on. I haven't talked to her about that recently, but everybody keep me posted. We only have, we have God, of course, first, but we all have each other. We're all a family of believers, and we all love each other. I love you guys very, very much. I don't want to say anything happened to you, but I'm very worried about this bird flu and a possible pandemic coming because this thing is killing one in five people, folks. One in five. I've got kids, okay? I'm not going to sit back and let these evil, you know what, destroy our lives. We need to speak up. And we need to do it fast. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. God bless you all. Remember, Chinese scientists slammed for creating mutant influenza virus in a laboratory. The U.S. did the same thing a year and a half ago, right after the movie Contagion came out. And that movie was probably uh, uh, predictive programming by the U.S. government. Okay? Bird flu, folks. It was mutated by evil people. This is a man-made virus that's already killed at least 27. I haven't checked the numbers now. It could be up higher. I hope not, but it could be. This has taken off as a pandemic. Most scientists right now will tell you they believe that this is going to turn into a pandemic, global pandemic. Get ready for this. Get your mask ready. I'm not putting fear in it. Get your mask ready. Have water, and your water is a hot commodity. You need water. Just have stuff on side. Have it ready. Because you know what? i got a lot of things going on right now in my personal life. But we all do. It ain't just me. But you have to stay focused on what's going on around you, what these people are doing. These governments want us all to sit here and watch American Idol and get fat and eat chips and do whatever we do, right, and not pay attention. They want us to be stupid. They don't want us to pay attention to what's going on. They don't. It's like a supermarket. They don't want a smart shopper bringing coupons in. They want a stupid shopper. That's how they make all their money. Be a smart citizen of this country and fight back. Fight back any way you can. It starts with one person. Don't let them do this. Don't let them kill your family member or your friend. I ain't going to let it happen. I'll stand up for all of you. God bless.